I think I think we're going live. It's thinking. It's connecting. <laughs> oh, we are now streaming on Facebook. Yay! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sacred Spaces. I'm Merritt Malief Plum. Hello, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at my phone to make sure it's all working. And now okay. I kind of need to change the the camera angles so you guys are working not staring at my son's body. technology is Jennifer body. Dixon from Thrive Yoga and That's, Wellness. <laughs> and everybody As knows usual, that she's technology. Working. Yeah, she's working and I'm talking. <laughs> oh, I think we lo we're losing you. I guess I'm going to be looking. I, I see you still. Uh, you're freezing up. Are you is it sure that you're frozen on your screen? Oh yeah, this may not be the best idea with our because I can't have David turn off the internet. We can try. If it if it gets real shoddy, then we might have to just um, do this without the live component, and I can cut all this okay. out later. Okay. Oh. All right, so I can see you. I can see you. And you can see me. And together, we have what it takes, I hope. I'm going to put this down here so it looks more like I'm looking at you instead of um, up high. Okay, is that better? That, that looks But great. now everybody's staring at my ceiling. It's okay. Okay, I'm, we're leaving I'm it. At we're going to leave it. I'm staring at you. <laughs> Yay, so You're yesterday. Good, baby. Yes. Oh, thanks. So yesterday we tried to do this same episode and we just kept having technology fail after technology fail. And so um, today, you know, because we've had such a good track record, right, Merritt, of trying new right. technology. Mm -hmm. We have new we have new microphones. We have new new things to try. And since we're doing so well, I thought, hey, why don't we try this other new thing and stream this live on Facebook? Well, that's you know, how we like, learn. We learn through trial that's and right. error, and this time has been very significant for those things that I never have time to learn. Now I have time to learn. <laughs> <laughs> and school of hard knocks, and uh, that that seems to be like the way that I learn. So me I mean, too. come on, let's me just too. do it. We're, we're going to throw it out there, and you know, tell me that your mistakes just made you smarter. And I always said, well, I ought to be a genius right. by now. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? Like I should be on the, the what is that? M MIMSA, HIMSA, Minza. those really yeah, smart. Minza. MINSA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm terrible at those. <laughs> right. <laughs> Clearly, I have a few more lessons to learn if I'm not on the MINSA yet, right? <laughs> so what people may what people may not know is that the last four episodes were pre-recorded and we were studying the yamas and niyamas and we still have a couple more to do but we decided today we were just going to kind of catch up with each other and with you guys and talk about what the pandemic and the local disaster has been like for us and how we're moving through that hoping to be of some support to you all and if you're watching this you're part of our thrive tribe and we love you and we're hoping you have health and wellness and thank you for being with us oh yeah for sure it's been it's been an interesting month and some change wouldn't you say i would definitely say so we we batched ahead because we knew some it, we didn't know it was covid but we had some stuff that we knew was going to be coming along and we were just trying to get a little bit ahead period just in case you know like if you or i wanted to go somewhere i was supposed to have gone to train with my teacher in may right. and so we were trying to get stuff ahead and so we were lucky enough to have a few episodes batched ahead because when this pandemic hit and shut us all down at least it didn't shut the the podcast down necessarily there was a week that I missed because it was just me and um, this is going to be going basically right from Facebook live over to the um, podcast as soon as I can get it the the audio stripped out I'm so techie when it sounds that way right but well, um, I, because I think, go ahead 
oh, because we had those things batched ahead, we were able to continue right. to have these discussions and provide that discussion for you guys. But um, now we've, we've run through the batches and we wanted to kind of talk real time about what's going on. Yeah, and I know for you, you were saying, you know, we had some ahead and you had something going on. Everybody all of a sudden had to rearrange their whole life and how they functioned yep. and their routine. And, and, you know, you would think being at home would be easy to have a routine, but it isn't always. And for people who have it's children not. and also need to work from home, you know, I'm, ima I'm imagining that that's an adjustment that everybody still kind of getting used to and and figuring oh, out oh yeah yep no for sure and it's the it's it makes me feel really bad for the kids that are not able to finish school and then it makes me feel bad because I, I know what the parents are going through and mine are just two and right. four trying to deal with with homeschooling and and work but um on the flip side of it you know everybody coming together because it, it does impact us all it, even if even right. if we are not the high risk, somebody that we may come in contact with may be. Right. And so I think it's, it's, it's a terrible, the pandemic is terrible, but it's also kind of beautiful how the world is together on one page, basically. Yes. Like we are all in this together, just like we kind of talked about yesterday. We're exactly. And, and that's kind of a beautiful it's, it's a beautiful melody, you know, like we, we talk about this in that, you know, cerebral sort of way, right? You and I and these things, like everybody has these, we're on these paths together. We, we talk about this in a very, you know, sort of esoteric sort of way, but today it's, it's actually true, right? It's very true. We're, it's very true because we're all, all over the globe, not just in America, all over the globe, mm -hmm. we're all at home and we're all we all have fear over the same thing so it really yeah. shows you know just how in, in a in a more tangible way for me just how interconnected we all are and agree it's, it's been a beautiful the communities coming together people figuring out ways to support each other and help each other you know we talked about yesterday the horrific storms that came through Chattanooga and how everybody's finding ways to help their neighbors and help their community during this time it's so beautiful and agreed, as far agreed. as I can see they're following the guidelines but they're still helping one another and and at times like these that's when the most beautiful facets of human beings emerge I agree. I agree. It's, it's, you know, it's it not just, we did have a natural disaster. Merritt was re referencing the episode that we recorded yesterday and then lost because my iPad died. And we, we talked briefly about how our area was hit by uh, EF3, right? Tornado. And uh, I mean, it just totally obliterated neighborhoods in our area, just obliterated them. And it hit a couple of our teachers and we as a Thrive community banded together and we helped our teacher. And then we as a Chattanooga and Hamilton County and even in several areas uh, across the U.S., different people were coming into our area and banding together to help mm -hmm. these people that lost their homes, that lost everything. And it's and again, it's like this is I, I don't want to get too sort of out there, but it's, you know, we're all in this together managing the pandemic. Right. Like we've talked about we're all on the same vibration of 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 just sustaining life in whatever way we can the best way we can and then I feel like it almost raised us up even more even though this disaster was terrible the aftermath of it was beautiful how all these people the, came the, together the love and, that it spurs yeah. is be, is a beautiful thing to watch especially admit so much fear people mm, are experiencing exactly. a lot of fear right now mm -hmm. for very good reasons yeah but there but uh, you know from what i'm gathering energetically as a whole you just and and everyone cycles through the fear and then the gratitude and the fear and then the gratitude but as a collective 
the fear is radiating out. So the more love that we can put out there and the more peace and gratitude we can put out there, the more we're going to help the whole. Exactly. Because those vibrations ripple out and help heal yep. the fear. And, and that's what I think is the beautiful thing that came out of this natural disaster, right? Like the outpouring of love and love. support mm-hmm. and, and, you know, the, the Tennessee's the volunteer state, right? And so yeah. volunteers came out of nowhere and, yeah. and that I believe we're all in this together. So we're all kind of right here and yeah, we could sink down with the fear and that disaster was the natural disaster was that it was a it was a freaking disaster but rather than just sit back in the rabbit hole and ball up we didn't do that it, especially the well, thrive community yes. and you make a good point because you know that night you and i are in the same neighborhood so we experienced the storm not the actual tornado coming through but the storm and the belief that that it was coming mm-hmm. and so during that time you have fear right you're in that fight oh, yeah. or flight mode the oh yeah is that after you don't keep experiencing that exactly you find ways through prayer meditation support through your community and you overcome that fear and you don't go back to it and it'll help you stay so much healthier if you can find a way to not keep experiencing that fear Now, when there's another tornado coming through, it's going to come up again, but we don't want to perpetuate that. Correct. Correct. And living in the moment, living in the moment. Yeah. You can kind of make fun of me for this. Uh, (laughs) Right before we started streaming, I'm sorry if you noticed me looking around. um, Well, I keep looking at birds. (laughs) Oh, it's okay. If you notice me, me looking around, uh, (laughs) I am my kids are trying, they're supposed to be going to bed. And my son was napping on the hardwood floor right behind us right beforehand. (laughs) So, um, (laughs) um, I thought I heard some noises. And so anyway, so if you hear me looking around, I'm, I'm making sure my children are not escaping from their nap time. Well, now that you mention it, a nap actually sounds like a pretty good idea. I know, right? Naps are wasted on the littles. Right. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should wrap this up and uh, do a little meditation and go take a nap. <laughs> that would be awesome. Speaking of meditation, you're going to have one tonight, right? Yes, I'm going to do a chakra clearing meditation, and I keep meaning to post that on Facebook, and I haven't yet. We'll, we'll try to remember to do it today. So for those of you led me in different directions today and I've just gone with it. You're just flowing with it. That's basically what I do every day. (laughs) That's been one of the blessings in this. Oh, true. True. Because you have the space to do it. Yeah. Right. Until the, until David comes back down from upstairs and Sedona wakes up, (laughs) Then then it's still medicine, but in a different way. Yep. Yeah, that's so what true. Have you been, what have you been, how have you been kind of managing your stress through this? Oh, but before I got, before I have to tell you my funny oh, story okay. about living in the moment. So for Easter, the Easter bunny brought the kids silly string. It was Luna that was trying to get out. Sorry. Um, and this is why we need to do this at your house so that it's not as distracting and so that the, the background scenery is prettier at your house. And so COVID-19, all of this needs to get better so we can come back together. Um, so we got the kids, the Easter Bunny brought the kids silly string and it, one of the cans wasn't working and I was like shaking it and shaking it. And uh, Caleb was helping me to do, to like press the thing to make the silly string. The silly string finally started working right in Adalia's hair. <laughs> and my daughter has really big curly hair like me, but it goes when it's wet, it's down to the center of her back. She's got a lot of hair, a lot of hair. And there was this wet silly string mess all in her hair. It was, it was a disaster. Like it was a disaster. And so I had to wait for it to dry and I'm trying to comb it out and combing any little girl's hair is like, but especially curly hair. Yeah, it's terrible. It's if, if you've ever you watched any. It, though? Yeah. Why don't you pick it? I, well, that's what it was. It's a pick. I use a pick. Oh, I don't. Okay, we don't okay. use brushes on our hair. Oh, girl. I was gonna say. <laughs> I shouldn't. Hair, I need to use their. Yeah, curly hair rule number five. 
never use <laughs> never breath. touch never use it well unless you really want the body to expand and then you want to defy gravity then brush that puppy out yeah right. and so she was screaming like I was like she we were whatever performing a exorcism like she was screaming and five minutes after I'm done and I've gotten the pink stuff out of her hair she's still screaming and oh it hurts it hurts and that was the whole point of the lesson like Adalia I'm not brushing I'm not brushing it out of your hair the comb is put away the spray bottle is gone that you don't feel the pain anymore you you still remember the trauma of it but you yes. don't remember the pain and I, and I tried to tell her I I had a lot of pain when I had you but I don't remember I can't I remember the pain but I don't feel the pain and you're here so it's wonderful like yes there was pain five minutes ago but the silly string is out of your hair. You don't have to keep living it. That was the whole point of that story. I was like, I know there's a reason for the story and I can't remember what it was. There it is. So I was trying to have teach my four-year-old how to live in the moment and not, not be held back by the fear of the pick and silly string in her hair. It was, it was a disaster. I saw a meme today. In fact, I shared it with one of my best friends and it said, remember when we thought that giving birth was going to be the most painful part of parenting? <laughs> Ha 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 help. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. So true, so true. So to to talk about how I was dealing with COVID, whew, um we kind of knew it was coming, right? Like we we were as a studio, we've been preparing for it since the beginning of the year, really. I've been mm -hmm. stocking up on cleaning supplies, and I I thought it was more serious from the very beginning. Um, oh, Adalia, go to bed. It's bedtime. Um, but it, we didn't, you know, it was one of those things where it hit. Adalia's saying hi. Hi, Adalia. Hi, hey, beautiful you. girl. She can't hear you because I'm it's in good. the good. How are you? She's asking how you are because I have an ear button. Now go to bed. Now, um, so as a studio, sweet Adalia. she's telling you how to have sweet dreams. Now go to bed. As a studio, we we were, you know, you what is the what is the Boy Scout? You prepare for it. You prepare for the worst, but you expect the best. And so we had started to load up on some some disinfectant and wipes, and that's why we still had some. And we when it got closer and closer to home, we were removing the blocks. We were, we already had the online uh, capabilities. Like we had the right. technology, we had everything in place. And so when it came to that point where the shutdowns were imminent, we were already streaming the classes. So we were able to luckily transition real fairly painlessly from a brick and mortar yoga studio to an online yoga studio, which is a blessing, right? Because a lot of, a lot of yeah. studios, it took them a few weeks to get that. So I keep thank thinking you. every time I think about it, I keep thinking Jennifer is brilliant. Oh no. You started that. Like if you had not started that when you did, and I know when you started it, that wasn't why, but wow, how the universe moved you into a blessing there. It's true. It's true. And I did. I, I have had the vision to stream our classes. And rem I don't know if you remember last year, we were trying to stream classes and I just right. couldn't get, I couldn't figure out the technology. YouTube changed its, its parameters. Well, like everything I felt like at the time, everything was fighting against me to do this streaming. And I was like, I, did, I don't understand why this is so hard. The big name people can do this. Why can't I figure this out? And thank God I kept trying. Um, tenacity is, I guess, my middle name. And um, we were very lucky. We were very lucky. We were streaming our classes before we had to be locked down. The mayor um, shut us down in the middle of a class. So I finished the class. And the very next class, instead of it being on, met in the studio, it was online. And, and that's kind of how we've been for the last month. And so in that regard, the studio, the business Thrive was able to continue thriving as best as we could in an online capacity um, because of the preparations there. Mentally and physically for me, like how I'm handling it, it, it goes, it's up and down, right? This is a grief. Course, uh, this this entire, this entire pandemic, everything, even with the natural disaster, it's grief. And so I've had yes. days where I'm like, yeah, we got this. We're going to do it. It's like, we got this. And then I've had days like right there on the floor 
with the kids on me position. Yeah. Crying. And you know, that's all part of dealing with the process and the the roller coaster. Oh, I appreciate that. It's part of being present too. It's not presence. Isn't about always being in a state of gratitude and bliss. It's more about really feeling and being with whatever you're feeling and allowing your awareness to expand as a result. And I mean, it's beautiful. Talk about the, the cycles, the cycles yesterday, you were talking about a spiral, but it's true. Life is cyclical. And if mm-hmm. you're on top of that mountain, don't be too happy. Cause guess yeah. what? You're going back down. And when and, you're in and, the valley, you know, rejoice because there's only one way to go. It's back up. Life is cyclical. And the, the whole concept of yoga and, meditation and some of these kind of ancient techniques is to help you be to be present and observe those cycles without observe it without being on the roller coaster I love that observing it and not necessarily letting it take the whole thing down right and sometimes it's easier than others and just like of course Yeah. And just like with this dealing with this pandemic and the natural disaster, sometimes it's been better. Interestingly enough, the, I believe that the natural disaster happening when it did, we had just gotten into our stride. We'd been, you know, in it for almost a month. I think it was right about a month when this happened and we just hit our stride. And so thankfully, although, I mean, golly, boom, could it, could one other thing go wrong? Because we had, Never as ever humans, that. <laughs> I know, right? I know, Never right? Never put that out there. <laughs> and then, and then it happens, right? And but, but as humans, it's a beautiful thing. All right, well, this is our new normal. We're here. It took us a minute to climb up there. We're here, and so thankfully, we had a little bit of time to kind of adjust to it. And so now we're a little over a week after out, and we're we're adjusting again. There's new stress. There's new things to take care of, but. Right. I'm not back. I'm not down there still dealing with what it was a month ago. I'm up here dealing with where it is today and where it is today right. is freaking fantastic. All yeah. things considered, right? You know, I was at the studio today. We're going to have a roof on today. We got, we got electricity back today. So the, the timing of it is kind of beautiful in and of itself because it's the, it's for me, at least it's allowed me to kind of to manage and go along with it, ride these waves of it. And I'm thankful for that. Interesting way to make this conversation spin. It's not at all like it was yesterday. I love it. It never is. It never, <laughs> it never is. <laughs> even even when we try. I want to say, and oh, it's good because I'm studying and I'm preparing how I want to lay out our, our talks, but the way the the universe moves it's so much better than anything I could prepare for (laughs) it's beautiful it's beautiful I love the freedom well so with you your you've said you're dealing with it through being able to stay in your medicine more often you tapping into it a little better given everything that's been going on well and that was one of the things that we talked about yesterday is that I'm good at hermiting I could hermit for months if I have what I need but when somebody tells you you have to hermit, it's different. It puts the so makes I, the feathers rise. So I so like you, I'm on a cycle. I'm loving the silence and the stillness and being able to just really delve in and not only work on my internal self, but work globally because you know, and I love my people that I work with, but you know, on a day to day basis it's individuals and maybe small workshops. And so my, my intuition is to send energy globally into the hot spots and to the areas where the disasters hit. And I'm loving that. I, I was taught how to do it and I do it anytime there's anything going on, but there's never been anything for this concentrated of a time. Yeah. Uh, other than nine 11 and back in at nine 11, I was just learning all this stuff. Like, how to do the distance work and things like that. So that has been so blissful for me. And I've been able to really stay in that place. And I feel like the people that are are coming to me through phone sessions and video sessions and just, you know, venting things out to me that I can guide them and how to do that for themselves. 
But I think like everybody, we're all cycling through and we're having, it, it can happen for me in a day. You know, I can feel very blissful and happy and then I'll maybe watch the news and I start to feel the remorse. And, you know, that's when we need to send our prayers, send our healing out into the world instead of taking on all the pain and sorrow. We're, we're more um, efficient and we're stronger as individuals if we don't carry it but instead send out prayers and love and energy i hope that made sense it did and it actually okay. it resonates really well with me because from the it was like 10 days before the shutdown um i was like a wreck i'll just be 100 percent honest you know um the like all hell was breaking loose for yeah. me and suddenly I went from having all of this help with the studio to basically you know b behind the scenes all the teachers are there with me and the teachers have been amazing but you know from having a building and a brick and mortar studio where the teachers come and people come to you and, right. and then teach that's different than every single class every single day making sure the zoom meeting is set up making sure everybody has the zoom meeting links making sure the technology everybody like it, it was it that's a reason why my gray hair has gotten worse or my dad called them blondes right um and i found out the day that we got shut down that night, Judson and I, we went, I had to force him, but now we, he likes to do it. We went live on Facebook inside the Thrive Yoga group. And if you guys haven't signed up, you guys need to check out Thrive Yoga. It's a Facebook group. We go in there throughout this COVID-19 crisis. We're going to go in there nightly. I have a feeling it's been a lot of fun. We're going to continue to do it in some sort of capacity. Na you not every not night. You not be able after. to sleep without it before long. I know. <laughs> It's been it's been so much fun. Like it, it, he and I get to have our friendly banter like we normally do, but ne then we get to have the interaction of everybody else with us. It's been a lot of fun for for us, and I feel like for other people. So if you haven't joined the Thrive Yoga group, definitely join it. But something that something that came out of that was I was I've always been honest, and you know that, and you as listeners, you guys know I'm an open book. I probably share way too much, right? But I want you guys to get to know me and to like me and trust me. But on the flip side of it, what I found was I could turn around the, the, my dark pit of a hole by focusing on something positive, by showing something we were thankful for. So from that very first day, we did that Thrive Yoga um, live thing, and we were talking about positive things. Even when things, we would address the bad things, we would address how it was sure. closed, but we would turn we would use that same energy and spin it in a positive way. And as a community and as a studio, we also, every single day, I try every single day. The very first thing I post is something that's going to be positive. Why? Because there's so much crap out there to draw us down. And it's been my discovery through this, this crisis that for every little spiral down, if I check it with something that can go up, it helps me yes. not to fall down to the bottom. Right. So I energy think what you in, said, energy out. It, it resonated with me and it's, and it's proof because the, the community, I feel like even though we're not together, the, the community has, has, instead of us being so dispersed, we've kind of gotten closer together as a Thrive community. And I think it's beautiful. We it haven't been able beautiful. to hug each other, but we no, still are but, closer. Yeah. And I've been limiting my social media, but when I, when I see the things from Thrive and the interaction, it always brings me so much joy. And I just have to thank you I know, you know, you're used to having administrative work and, you know, all this and okay. you're, you're running the whole show. I mean, there were, you know, six or seven of us that helped in the office and, you know, um, we can't do that right now. So you're doing it all. And I, as part of your community and want to see you as my fearless leader, want to thank you most humbly for everything that you do. Oh, well, thank you. It is, it is appreciated. It's not, it's not work when you love doing it and I'm not doing it alone. Like Stephanie, but I know the technology part is work for you. And I'm, yeah, I'm it grateful is. to Stephanie for all her help. 
Stephanie's helped me a lot. Yeah. Missy's helped me a lot. All of the teachers, it's it's been amazing for all of you guys that come to Thrive, for all of you that are thinking about it. Like I 100% firmly believe the Thrive teachers are the best teachers. I mean, the way that all of our teachers have come together, technology was new and scary for all of us. And that was why, that was one of the reasons why it was slow to get going, right? A year ago, but once it became like the only way for the teachers to get with their students, everybody was on board, like, show me, I want to see my, my students. I want to be with my clients. And that's a beautiful thing. Now it's uncomfortable. It is really uncomfortable to put your butt in the air in front of the camera. (laughs) This thing's getting everybody out of their comfort zone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're right. Yeah. And, and you know what? It's time. I agree. And I think the, and it's also time just to learn to like yourself. I mean, oh. you know, cause I mean, you can be in a, in a room with 50 people that you know well and still feel alone, but you're only lonely if you don't like the person you're alone with. And so this has really, for a lot of people I know, helped them kind of re-examine some of their self-worth issues. And there's nothing better than yoga and meditation and the things that happen at Thrive Yoga to help get in alignment with that. Oh, that's beautiful. You're right. You're right. And we can, we can work on all of these things about ourselves, but until that self-acceptance happens, that's when the growth trajectory will just take off. That's beautiful. Yeah, because you don't play small anymore. You're okay in your own skin. You're okay with who you are. I mean, I remember when it happened to me, it was profound and, you know, I still have my little things, but for the most part, I, I like who I am and I enjoy my own company. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm pretty nobody cool. Else laughs at my <laughs> jokes, but I think I'm hilarious. So, you know, I sit here and laugh and talk to the birds <laughs> and, you know, that's it. And I think that that's, I, I hope that as a collective, the world, as we come out of this, everybody has kind of come up in that regard, oh, regard. I, you know, like we, we can't run away think. from ourselves. Right. It's happening. It's happening. I feel it. And I see it. Even though I'm oh, not out awesome. there, I see it. I'm, I'm still watching. Um, so, I mean, I'd be interested in knowing from some of our listeners and viewers, what has helped you during this time? What has brought you oh, for strength sure. and inspiration? If you're watching us now, we've got a handful of folks watching us now. If you're, if you've got something that's brought you strength and inspiration, go ahead and leave us a comment down below. I've got it. Comments. We can't, I've got it on my phone beside my laptop. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's, Good idea. I'm not that techie. So I'm sure there's a way to do it on the laptop. I just don't know what that is. And so, yeah, leave us a comment if you're watching and you want to participate. But even after this, and once this airs mm-hmm. and once you hear it, go ahead and leave us a comment or shoot us an email where we are curious to see how other folks are managing this crisis and um, what well, has, and you- what, good has come from it right 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 and they may be doing something that we want to try oh yeah (laughs) and haven't thought about you know we can all learn and grow from each other that's what a community is and so what for you so something that that kind of came out of this crisis for me that was kind of beautiful was the 300 hour teacher training we got certified to do the 300 hour teacher training uh, before the end of last year. And I just couldn't figure out how to put this thing together. I know you and I had, uh, we're going to do something, a retreat once the everything opens up and that'll be a part of, uh, of our in-person. But one of the most beautiful things that comes out of, we talked about this yesterday and I wish we would have had it recorded. You know, when you're at your bottom and all you can can do is look up like you called it the depths of the soul that's the when things open the, soul, the, yeah. the dark night of the when that when things are quiet like that that's when for me when I'm finally able and there's nothing else I can focus on that's when this beautiful stuff just pops out right and it's that true. was one that's one of the thing the beautiful things that popped out it was you know now that we are not limited to everybody coming here and we're not limited to the fact that that's so expensive to come here and to bring people in right. i can i can reach out to friends that live all over the us and say come and help us put this thing together yes. and i'm so pumped because all of the teachers they've rallied we've got a group of five teachers they're amazing super 
super awesome, super brilliant people that are coming together to work. Um, we created a 300 hour virtual teacher training program that is going to be diving really deep into the philosophy, the history, the, the, the ancient text that is and make up yoga and how they can be relevant today. That's, that's one of the main things that we're talking about. Another one is very much so the science behind the postures, you know, like, so why do we do warrior two? You know, what, why do we do Padmasana, which is a uh, lotus pose? So I'm kind of, I'm super pumped to dig into the science of the poses as well as the history and really even the science of the ancient text. So that's, that's one of the beautiful things that's come out of this crisis and this pandemic. So will these be live classes that you have to uh, take attendance during the actual time or can, can you, are they going to be recorded? And we are going to record them at what, what we're going to do because we do have a licensed mental health expert as part of this. Um, and we will be diving into some things in our souls uh, and just really deep stuff, like making these ancient things become relevant. What we're going to do is every session will be recorded, but it will only be available throughout the training. And so for okay. the people that have signed up for the training and during the training, you'll have access to it. But after that, for the sake of, I don't want to just say privacy, but it is. It kind of is. Well, the, privacy the sacred and nature. somebody's paying for something and then later on it's put out there. Yeah, I the can't sacred stand nature it when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're wanting to we're wanting to honor the 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 sacred space. We'll use the name of this for the folks that are a part of the group. And so if you do miss a class because we are going to offer them during the day. Uh, if you do miss it, you can catch it up later. You can catch up on the weekends. So that'll be available to you. But it's not just going to be open willy-nilly for the whole public for the rest of forever. Right. Well, that's because, awesome. I'm excited about that. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a fun, very educational time. And the folks, um, the folks that we have teaching, like Eric. He's he as uh, works for American Sanskrit Institute. He's going to be teaching a Sanskrit. Like we will learn oh, the characters awesome. of Sanskrit, which is the language of yoga, right? Right, um, exactly. Je Jessica, she's the uh, um, licensed mental health professional. She's going to be. We've got sixty hours of philosophy. Um, yes. See, that's you know, what learning. I'm all into. Yeah, we're going to be diving into this stuff on a daily basis. Um, we're going to be like my, my job. I, I teach probably the least amount of the teacher training because the people that are coming in, they're like freaking geniuses and I just want to soak it up. Um, I'm going to be talking about the very non-sexy parts of owning a business and uh, yoga people. A lot of times they're like, Oh, I know yoga. I can have a business. It's a yeah. lot more than that. We're, we're going to yeah, talk about I've cash seen that flow in my own profession too. It's we, but it's so important is learning like, all right, so you've got to have a pro forma. You've got to know your numbers. You got to know right. if it's sustainable. And so that's one of the contributions that I'm going to make. Um, Laura and Janetta, they're, they're going to be diving into the anatomy and we're going to be learning the body in and out, the postures in and out and the, the science behind them. And then the history, it, it's just going to be so cool. I'm very excited about it. I'm excited about it too. But that was one of the beautiful things that came out of the dark night of the soul. That was the whole point of it. The, the, well, let's make some lemonade out of these lemons. I can't go to them. They can't come to me. Let's have them come here. And the beautiful part of it is I think that this is the way of the future. I do believe that yes. it's great to get together. It's great to, to have the community. And I definitely believe the studio will be back and as strong as ev ever. But I think that these online classes and these online trainings, I think they're here to stay. Well, and, you know, it makes it more accessible to more people. I do think that doing some, you know, the continuing ed and some workshops in person, there's nothing like being in that energy Agreed. field. But, you know, we need more options like this. I agree. I agree. I mean, even the, the the cost savings alone from not having to get to and fro, that's amazing, right? So right. what does that mean? You, you don't have to spend as much money, which means you get to do even more training. So imagine the, right. the size of the human brain, you know, in a few years, if we can continue to just improve ourselves uh, and doing it in a remote capacity. And I'm with you. There's nothing well, as powerful as the energy of a room. Right. Yeah. The past few years, I've done most of my workshops virtually. 
you know, when I had my brick and mortar business and I was in the stream of my people when I was in Rome, uh, I went to, I went to conferences and did training that way. But since I moved to Chattanooga and I don't have the volume I had in Rome yet, I I've done all of my training and I do a training. I do trainings all the time because I think it's important to stay, you know, up connected. On, yeah, connected and keep learning and, and evolving so I think for the last four years, that's all I've done is virtual and they're great. So, and I think it's the way, I think it's the way of the world and think about how beautiful that's going to be for our environment, right? You know, all of these companies have found out that they can still maintain operations and our people don't have to travel every day. Like what, right. like the pictures, the pictures in Italy with the dolphins and the canals, like this is yes. beautiful. Why can't it we is. have this reduction in our footprint if Carbon you will footprint yeah and today's earth day too so it's an even better time to dis to talk about it like why can't right. we keep these things you know and and it, i don't want to sound like too kind of out there but like with this natural disaster and with dolphins coming back into the canals of venice like maybe this is time for us on a global scale to say Let's well, not keep wild, doing that. Wildlife everywhere is yeah. re-emerging. And I think it's beautiful. I don't really want to have a black bear in our neighborhood, but <laughs> if I had a deer come down through here, I would think I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't want a black I bear in our neighborhood either. what nature is. <laughs> I don't know if we get that. <laughs> We take so, it all, but are we getting any comments from people? Let me look. Let me nope. There just looks like, it just looks like we're, they're watching for that. Oh, but, okay. um, maybe we'll the, get some later. Yeah, we'll probably get some later, but I mean, overall, I think that this time alone with family, I hope that it's made people be, get closer together. I mm -hmm. hope that it's, it's hoped up. I hope that it's helped to develop that personal relationship. I know that it has, I hope that things are, are going to improve and then we have this new although it was let's just be honest this isolation was was created because of fear right and we we didn't want to get sick but then it was also created for the greater good so if we focus on that greater good we we focus on the self-improvement we focused on the improved relationships instead of it going down it can come up and I think that that's the beautiful thing that could come out of this yeah. crisis I'm getting my Barbies. I want my Barbies. Sorry. Did you see the mom look? So, Somebody still yes, I did. Napping. I did. So, so share with us in the comments. I'm going to look forward to reading them. The different ways that you found to connect with your inner self and how you've used yoga or whatever practice you have to help you through this time. And yes. as always, we love having you with us on Sacred Spaces. We can't wait to be in the same room again. That was one of the things I was going to say. The most difficult thing for me is our little gatherings and our yep. little spontaneous, you know, hey, come on over. I miss that. Your food. I miss your food. <laughs> well, now I can hook you up with some of my food. <laughs> be careful what you say. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, that's the, let us know how you guys are managing. Um, let us know some tips and tricks that you guys have done. And next week we will be back and we'll dive back into the Niyamas. Yes. And thank you for being with us today on Sacred Spaces and have a wonderful day. Namaste. Namaste, you guys. <laughs> now I've got to learn how to turn this off because I don't know. <laughs> So we're still. Well, I'm going to sit learning. here with you until. Thank you. This might end up on a blooper show when we're no famous kidding. one day. 